So this is the current clamp table built up just for my own interest. I'll just set it up as a four wire measurement, see what the resistance is. Um, one, two, three, eight, three, nine ohms. You can see that I'll zoom in a little bit. 0.28. Three, five, three, six. So I'll see how that compares to a uh, manual calculation based on the ohms per kilometre specification for the wire. Um, but what I will do now is I'll convert this around and change it to working with the injection test set on the left there. And, there. and we'll inject some amps and see what readings we get. So this is the wire coming from the injection test set on the output there, the current output, which you can inject 0 to 30 amps uh, full load, continuous, it'll uh, do up to 60 amps for a shorter duration, but this coil will max out at about 30 amps, I believe. So I have here, I have here my iFlex. It will go through so the coil is connected up to here to the inside coil so the current loops around in that direction. So with the arrow on the uh, Rogowski coil there, feed it all through that way so everything is the same direction. I'm going to set him up to 200 amps, so about 100 turns there. And he goes in there. And if I set the output on this to 1.9 amps. 10 millivolts, so 1.9 amps, so should have 190 amps effectively going through the coil. If I switched it to 1 millivolt per amp, then it'll go down to 190 millivolts, 191 millivolts. And it on 2000 amps. If I now take this up to Nineteen, nineteen amps, and it should go back up to one point nine volts on the, because that should be nineteen hundred amps equivalent going through the coil. So yeah, it all seems to be working fine. <laughs>